Yo, what's up, guys? Finally, man, I can finally show you guys this. I don't know how long it was my last nuclear sniping upload thingamajig. I honestly don't know. Like, in my entire Black Ops 2 career, or whatever you want to call it, I only got four sniping nuclears. Now, you got to understand that I never, ever, ever go for nuclears on purpose and you will see on this gameplay that i pick up the svu there you go i have it on my hand and i was live streaming at a time and sometimes people want me to use the svu and uh, i never actually use a class with it but whenever an enemy player is using it and i pick it from the ground i'm like yo why not man i might as well just troll with the svu and keep playing you know to prove that it's not that bad of a weapon and matter in fact i got a nuclear you know with a little bit of ballista kills and a, a little bit of svu kills so it is indeed a sniping and nuclear now the only time I, I think you will actually see in this game the only time that i realize that i'm actually getting closer to a nuclear it's around 15 kills i believe you know when i see the the what is the 15 metal called relentless i believe when I see that metal pop up, you know, I start panicking, but thank God I didn't choke. I, I, I've choked multiple nuclears in the past. I remember choking one at 29. That was pretty painful. I'm not going to lie to you. That is the worst feeling ever when you're at 29 and you die. And you will see what happens at 29. All I have to say is that I'm at like 28 or 27. And I go for safe kills only, meaning, you know, like I'm hard scoping, I'm playing safe, I'm not rushing whatsoever. And every time I kill an enemy, there's just no way they have the opportunity to kill me. But for some reason, I, I, I almost died at the end. But we survived, guys. Together, we survived. Now, as I said previously, I only have four nuclears in this game and they are all sniping nuclears once again i don't really go for nuclears you know you just play i think most people don't really especially with sniping they don't really go for nuclears you know you just start playing you get on a good streak you know you get your uev your v set whatever streaks you're using and uh, once you get to that point you're like oh you know i'm on a nice streak and uh, you know you're already more than halfway done with the nuclear and then you start going for the actual nuclear so that's at least how I do it. Uh, this is my first nuclear on the phase account, which is awesome, you know. Glad I got one before Advanced Warfare was out. It was, uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm happy that I got this and I'm happy that it's with snipers because, you know, if you get, if you get a nuclear and a lot of kills are like with ray guns and, and stuff like that, there's all these people that are going to be complaining. I'm not sure, like, if I get any knifing or any Semtex kills during this, but, you know, 90, 99% of the kills from what I'm watching right now is indeed with uh, both the SVU and the Ballista. So it's a great, nice combo to have two snipers in one nuclear, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now that we are on the topic of, like, medals and stuff, I believe, and, and I want to say this... And I do think everybody will actually agree with me, either you like this game or not. Black Ops 2 is the number one game when it comes to the medals and all that stuff that they created. It's just... How, how is that not a headshot? It's just the way they did the medals, it's just so well done. It, it, like, it, it really is. And there's no other Call of Duty where they made the medals so well like this game. I can't really remember how the medals are in Call of Duty Ghosts, but, you know, it's Call of Duty Ghosts, so we don't really, that doesn't, please, please, right? But uh, hopefully, Advanced Warfare has the same type of medals that they created on this game, you know? I'm not really saying that they need to have a quad feed medal, but I'm more talking about the kill chain medal. You know, and maybe increase it, you know, instead of just being until 9 kills, you know, increase it to 10 or 12, you know, a little bit higher because uh, kill chain medals and, uh, are pretty impressive and it's something nice that you get rewarded, you know. 
the, the fact that you get rewarded for getting a nice nine streak and there's the nuclear after i go for after i get the nuclear guys i just keep in mind that i don't give a shit and i just start rushing you know I, I, yeah i die right there you know i only got one kill after the nuclear so one or two i'm not really sure so uh yeah hopefully advanced warfare has the beautiful metals hopefully they have the nuclear as well because i feel like that is just a, such a great idea you know instead of uh, mw2 style oh 25 streak you get a a fucking nuke and a blow up everyone no no let's make it so you get a metal you know and that gets uh, recorded or registered on your combat record so other people can see it and so you can watch it and here it is at the end me just showing uh, I got one unstoppable one nuclear that is it a GG no re thank you everybody for watching I love you guys